Apple is close to becoming the first company worth a trillion dollars. It's now valued at $948 billion. And with that valuation, the company says, comes responsibilities, privacy responsibilities, social responsibilities. And they say people aren't spending too much time on their products. CNN's uh, Money, uh, Money's Laurie Siegel has just finished an exclusive interview with Apple CEO Tim Cook. Talked about all of it. Normally at this developers conference, you are trying to get people to pick up their phone more and more. You, you guys announced a tech addiction tool that will almost help us limit our screen time. You know, we've never been focused on usage as a key parameter. And we're, we're rolling out great tools to both make people aware of how much time they're spending and the apps that they're spending them in, but also how many times they pick up their phone, how many notifications they get. You know, empowering people with the facts or, or will allow them to, to decide themselves how they want to cut back. Tell me about your own tech habits. Yeah, so I, learn. I've been using it and I have to tell you, I, I thought I was fairly disciplined about this and I was wrong. When I began to get the data, I found I was spending a lot more time than, than I should. Like where? And uh, well, <laughs> I don't want to give you all the apps, but just too much. <laughs> and ask themselves uh, if they're picking up their phone 10 times an hour or 20 times an hour. Um, maybe, they could, maybe they could do it less. It's really interesting because there's this idea who's in control, man or machine. You believe that we as human beings, we can control. I absolutely do. I, I don't subscribe to the machines taking over the world. And I, I don't worry about that. I, I worry much more about people thinking like machines. Do you think that tech companies are in a, a position right now where they can self-regulate with some of these more sticky issues? Well, I... That's a bit, that's a big topic. I, generally, uh, for me, I'm not a big fan of regulation. I think self-regulation is the best. But but when it's not working, and in some cases it's not working, you have to ask yourself: uh, so what what form of regulation might be good? And and I, I think that uh, it's a fair question that many people are asking at this point. What kind do you think isn't working? Well, I think the, the privacy thing has gotten totally uh, out of control. And I, I think most people are not aware of who is tracking them, how much they're being tracked, and sort of the, the large amounts of detailed data that, that are out there about them. Do we as users just have to re-envision the idea of privacy? No, to, to me, and we feel this very deeply, we think privacy is a fundamental human right. So that is the angle that we look at it. Privacy from an American point of view is one of these key civil liberties that define what it is to be American. It's a fundamental human right. Do you think the last year has shown that that fundamental human right could be under attack? I think it has been under attack. And we've been saying that for quite some time. Just this morning, the Supreme Court ruled in favor of a Colorado baker who refused to bake a cake in celebration uh, of a same-sex couple. Uh, as a leader in the community, as Apple has, you know, mm -hmm. continuously stood uh, in front of LGBTQ rights, what's your reaction? Well, I haven't read the opinion, and so I'd reserve the, the right to read that and deeply understand it before sure. I comment on it. But in terms of the general topic, we believe that everybody should treat everybody else with dignity and respect. And, and that's, that's how we run our company. That's what we expect of each other. And that pertains to all communities, including the LGBTQ community. You said today that um, there are people from over 70 different countries yeah. here. Are, are you concerned at all with a lot of the stricter immigration policies? Yeah, I think uh, my, my view on DACA is the, the Congress needs to fix DACA. And fix DACA to me means allow everyone to, to stay in the country and stop this uh, ridiculous discussion that uh, people brought here as kids shouldn't be allowed to stay here. I know that there is this fear of the impact on consumers and will iPhone prices go up if there's an escalated trade war. I'd be curious to know. I know you said you were optimistic before. Are you still optimistic? I am. I am very optimistic because uh, no one will win from that. Uh, it will be a lose-lose, and uh, I, I think that w w when the facts are so clear like that, I think that uh, both parties will, will see that and, and be able to work things out. Do you think that if that were to occur, that iPhone prices could go up? I don't think that iPhone will uh, get a tariff on it, is, is my, uh, my belief. Lori, Apple announced today ability for users to limit apps and social media tracking. How is that going to work? 
A bit of a swipe at Facebook. You know, they're making it harder for companies like Facebook to track users on the new iOS and Mac. You'll see actually a pop-up uh, that'll allow, that'll ask for permission. So, you know, it's a very interesting moment now for technology and humanity. This is something Tig, Tim Cook has spoken quite a bit about, and you see it front row and center here at the Developers Conference. You know, you have 5,000 developers coming from all around the world, over 70 different countries. So a lot of very serious questions, but also a lot of interesting features we'll see roll out over the next couple months. Apple is close.